Hello friends, welcome to the world of project management and for an overview session on project stakeholder management process that is monitored stakeholder engagement. Motto of this training is to share my experience in preparing for PMP certification and have prepared few slides. Let's quickly move to our agenda for this session that we are going to discuss on what is monitor stakeholder engagement process and its attitudes that is inputs tools and techniques in more detail let's start it is the fourth process in the project stakeholder management area and it is defined as monitored stakeholder engagement is the process of monitoring the project stakeholder relationships and tailoring strategies for engaging all the stakeholders through the modification of engagement strategies and plans and the main key benefit of this process is that it maintains or increases the efficiency and effectiveness of the stakeholder engagement activities as the project evolves and its environment changes. Okay, hope you understood about its definition and the key benefit of this process. Let's quickly go with its ITTOs. In inputs, we have the project management plan, which contains the resource management plan, communication management plan, and the stakeholder engagement plan. And we have the project documents, which contains the issue log, lessons learned registered, project communications, risk registered, and stakeholder registered. And also in inputs, we have the work performance data, EEFs, and OPS, that is enterprise environmental factors, organizational process assets. And coming to the tools and techniques, we have the data analysis technique, which contains the alternative analysis, root cause analysis, and stakeholder analysis. And in the tools and techniques, we also have the decision making techniques, which contains the multi criteria decision analysis and votings. And also, we have the data representation technique, also, which contains the stakeholder engagement assessment matrix. Along with this, we have the other techniques, such as the communication skills, which contains the feedback and presentations. And we have the interpersonal and team skills which contains active listening, cultural awareness, leadership, networking, and political awareness. Along with this, we have meetings. Coming to the outputs, we have work performance information, change request, project management plan updates, which contains the resource management plan, communication management plan, and the stakeholder engagement plan. And also we have the project document updates output, which contains the issue log, lessons learned registered, risk registered and stakeholder registered okay fine let's discuss its ITTOs starting with first inputs in inputs first we have the project management plan which contains the resource management plan communication management plan and the stakeholder engagement plan let me explain one by one first with the resource management plan the resource management plan identifies the methods for the team member management Communication management plan. The communication management plan describes the plans and strategies for communication to the project stakeholders. Coming to the stakeholder engagement plan. It defines the plan for managing all the stakeholders needs and expectations. Okay, hope you understood the first input, the project management plan. Let's move to the next input. We have project documents, which contains the issue log, lessons learned registered, project communications, risk registered, and the stakeholder registered. Let me explain one by one. First with the issue log. This issue log documents all the known issues related to the project and the stakeholders. Lessons learned registered. The lessons learned earlier in the project can be applied in later phases of the project to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of engaging the stakeholders. Coming to the project communications. In this project communications, it includes the project communications that have been distributed to the stakeholders as defined in the communication management plan and the stakeholder engagement plan. Coming to the risk register. The risk register contains the identified risk for the project, including those risks related to the stakeholder engagement and interactions and their categorizations and the list of potential responses. Coming to the stakeholder register. The stakeholder register contains the stakeholder information 
that includes the stakeholder identification assessment and the classification okay hope you understood about this input project documents let's move to the next input we have work performance data what is work performance data here here the work performance data contains the data on project status such as which stakeholders are supportive of the project and with their levels and type of the engagement okay hope you understood about this work performance data moving to the enterprise environmental factors which may include the organizational culture political climate and the governance framework and it might include the personal administration policies and it might include the stakeholder risk thresholds and it might include the established communication channels it may include the global regional or local trends practices or habits it may include the geographical distribution of facilities and resources this is about efs coming to the organizational process assets that is ops ops may include trade policies and procedures for social media ethics and security and also they can include the this corporate policies and procedures for issue risk change and data management also and it may include the organizational communication requirements and it may include some standardized guidelines for development exchange storage and retrieval of information or it may include some historical information on the successful previous projects okay here we have completed all the inputs of the monitored stakeholder engagement process let's move to the tools and techniques in the tools and techniques first we have the data analysis technique which contains the alternative analysis root cause analysis and stakeholder analysis let me explain one by one first with alternative analysis this alternative analysis can be used to evaluate the options to respond to the variances in the desired results of the stakeholder engagement moving to the root cause analysis rca this rca can be used to determine the basic underlying reason that the stakeholder engagement is not having the planned effect okay moving to the stakeholder analysis the stakeholder analysis here helps to determine the position of the stakeholder groups and individuals at any particular time in the project okay hope you understood about this data analysis technique let's move to the decision making analysis which contains a multi criteria decision analysis and votings let me explain these two techniques first with multi criteria decision analysis in this the criteria for the successful stakeholder engagement are prioritized and weighted to identify the most appropriate choice of the stakeholders coming to the votings these votings can be used to select the best response for a variance in the stakeholder engagement process okay hope you understood this decision making technique let's move to the next technique we have data representation technique which contains the stakeholder engagement assessment matrix this stakeholder engagement assessment matrix monitors the stakeholder engagement process through tracking some changes in the level of engagement for each stakeholder okay hope you understood this data representation technique let's move to the communication skills which contains the feedback and the presentations let me explain these two techniques first with feedback this feedback is mainly used to ensure that the information to the stakeholders is received and understood by them and coming to the presentations this presentations provide precise information to all the stakeholders okay hope you understood about this communication skills technique let's move to the next technique we have interpersonal and team skills which contains active listening cultural awareness leadership networking and political awareness let me explain one by one first with the active listening this technique active listening is used to reduce the misunderstandings and with the other miscommunications hope you understood this moving to the cultural awareness the cultural awareness and the cultural sensitivity helps the project manager to plan the communications based on the cultural differences and the requirements of the stakeholders and the team members coming to the leadership and this the successful stakeholder engagement requires the strong leadership skills to communicate the vision and to inspire the stakeholders to support the work and outcomes of the project coming to the networking 
in this the networking ensures the access to the information about all the levels of engagement of the stakeholders coming to political awareness this technique the political awareness is mainly used to understand the strategies of the organization understand who yields the power and influence in this arena and it is used to develop an ability to communicate with the stakeholders okay hope you understood about this interpersonal and team skills techniques let's move to the next technique we have meetings in this we have different types of meetings which includes the status meetings stand up meetings retrospectives and uh, any other meetings agreed upon in the stakeholder engagement plan to monitor and assess the stakeholder engagement levels okay hope you understood all the tools and techniques of this monitor stakeholder engagement process let's move to its outputs starting with first work performance information this work performance information may include the information about the status of the stakeholder engagement such as the level of current project support and compared to the desired levels of the engagement as defined in the stakeholder engagement assessment matrix or the stakeholder cube or the other tools okay i hope you understood what is work performance information here moving to the next output we have change request as i said a change request may include the corrective and preventive actions to improve the current level of stakeholder engagement has to go through the perform integrated change control process okay hope you understood about this output moving to the next output we have project management plan updates which contains the resource management plan communication management plan and stakeholder engagement plan let me explain one by one first with resource management plan in this the team's responsibilities for all the stakeholder engagement activities may need to be updated in this resource management plan coming to communication management plan the project's communication strategies may need to be updated in this communication management plan coming to the stakeholder engagement plan the information about all the project stakeholders community may need to be updated in this stakeholder engagement plan okay hope you understood about this output let's move to the next output we have project document updates which contains the issue log lessons learned registered risk registered and the stakeholder register let me explain one by one first with the issue log the information in the issue log indicates that the stakeholder attitudes and may need to be updated coming to the lessons learned register this output the lessons learned register is updated with the information on all the challenges and how they could have been avoided and also it is updated with the approaches that worked well for engaging the stakeholders optimally and those that did not work well okay hope you understood about this lessons learned register moving to the risk register the risk register may need to be updated with responses to all the stakeholders risk coming to stakeholder register this output the stakeholder register is updated with the information as a result of monitoring the stakeholder engagement process okay hope you understood all the outputs of the monitor stakeholder engagement fine so we have completed all the attitudes that is inputs tools and techniques and outputs of this monitor stakeholder engagement process before closing this session let highlight some key points for this process first we need to monitor the stakeholder relationships second we need to adjust the strategies and plans for engaging the stakeholders so these are two important key points which we need to take care during this monitor stakeholder engagement process okay this completes our fourth process and the last session on the project stakeholder management knowledge area and hope this complete session is easy and understandable for you find kindly provide your feedback on the given email id and subscribe my channel if you like this video and share with your friends and signing off now we will meet again in the next new knowledge area that is project integration management in the next video thanks bye for now it's your anil kumar dharam